Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're gonna talk about pure Pendulum Magicians and how good it is against this specific meta. And we're gonna clap every meta deck, baby, let's go. I'll be showcasing a combo tutorial, two different matches against meta decks, as well as the deck profile at the very end. So make sure to stay tuned to the video. And before we get into the video, Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, boys, because why? Why should you subscribe? I don't know, speak English. Why should you subscribe to sub Why should you smash the subscribe button? Because at 50,000 subscribers, I will be doing the most amazing daily vlogs in Japan. I'll be traveling to OCG the world, Japan, China, Thailand, everywhere. And I'll be playing Pendulums with Electromite at 50,000 subscribers. I'm so excited to do it, but not until we hit the 50,000 subscriber goal. I don't want no money, I don't need to buy no mat, no nothing. Just support your boy and smash the subscribe button. Until that 50,000 subscriber day comes though, it's time to smash the world with the best deck pendulum in the TCG. So if you guys are ready for the video, gotta comment down below if you think you're gonna beat all the meta decks, and let's get straight into it. Pendulums, pure magicians, versus all meta decks. Let's go! I'm telling you guys, Pure Magicians is actually so good and it's so consistent because it's the same end board every single time. So I'm going to showcase a test hand right now and as soon as this test hand is over, I'll be showcasing two different duels in a tournament. Both of these duels are in a tournament and then I'm going to follow it up with a deck profile. So make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video and make sure to smash the subscribe button because like I said, uh, 50,000 subscribers, we're going to Japan. Thailand, China, everywhere, baby, for an OCG vlogs to play with Electrum. So if you guys think this deck is cool now, just imagine when instead of making a random link two as I'm about to make here, it's with Electrum instead of Needle Fiber. So here I'm gonna do a cool play. Uh, Dual Alliance. You don't want it to search it to pen. You don't want to search pen call. Double Iris is at two. Double Iris is at two, and we built this entire deck to revolve around. Double Iris Magician. We're playing three performed by Pendulum Sorcerers to pop the Double Iris, add Joker, and that's the normal summon. But for this specific hand, it worked out very cool what we could do. So Wisdom might trigger Star Pendulum Graph, and Star Pendulum Graph will trigger to add us Harmonizing Magician. Here you normal summon Harmonizing, and with everyone playing cards like everyone right now, everyone and their mamas and their grandmamas, they're all playing Imperial Order, Anti-Spell in their side deck, and Droll and Lockbird. Well, this deck plays around all those cards very well because of Purple Poison. Droll doesn't do shit. Droll doesn't do anything against this deck. So, well, it does a little bit, but you'll see I get Drolled like three times in the duels, and I still put up a serious board. So, Needle Fiber here is going to summon Tuning Magician, Selene, summon Tuning Magician, and uh, then this is going to make Appaloosa. At this point, if they hand trap anything, if they hand trap the Needle Fiber, you don't care. In fact, if they Veiler the Needle Fiber, that's beneficial for you. Because having the Needle Fiber, the Needle Fiber will now uh, turn it into a uh, Synchro Tuner on your opponent's turn, which literally is beneficial for your combo, and I'll be showcasing it as we go. This combo can be done with any single hand, and the bricks in this, the only brick in this deck, there's only one brick, which you're going to see, I'm going to showcase soon. Hard, hard Drawing It's not a brick. Hard Drawing It's fantastic. Here we use Ove to add the Harmonizing, and this is why Chronograph is just insane in this deck. Chronograph equals two extenders because Chronograph will bring out Time Gazer. You don't use Chronograph to special from Wisdom. You bring out the Time Gazer. You special them both out because you always link special some you pen summon under link threes like Master Rule three never changed. Here we're gonna go harmonizing into specifically Dragon Pit Magician, and then we're gonna go into Vert uh, not Verde Artifact Dagda. So this is where you see the brick per se, where it's gonna bring out the Dagda is gonna bring out Artifact Sites. But what we're gonna do now is a very smart play. Stay tuned with the 10 head play. What we're going to do now is we're going to bring out Tuning Magician, okay? And then after that, we're going to use Tornado Dragon to pop Double Iris, trigger Artifact Dagda to set Scythe in the pen zone. 
Specifically in the pen zone. I know you're looking at that like trip. Why? Are you trying to flex in your opponent? Yes, I am. But not just for that, but your other zones are gonna be full. And that's gonna be a problem for you. So you wanna set this, and this specific combo is only when you're going into Savage Dragon. So we're gonna link these into Savage Dragon. Then as you see here, Savage Dragon is gonna go here, pen graph there, and you want Scythe in the pen zone because Scythe is gonna get popped in your opponent's draw phase with Tornado Dragon. Hence, you wanna build up actually Pendulum Summon on your next turn. Uh, next, we're gonna Desire, see what we draw. The Desires is not important. Desires you use, like, go into your combo first and then Desires. If you don't have enough to do your combo, you can Desires and just hope you don't banish the Scythe. But if you banish Scythe, it doesn't matter. You just play Pendulum at that point. Like this board right here of Tornado Dragon, Savage Dragon, Appaloosa, this Dagda would be a Masquerina if you banish Scythe. You still end up five interruptions with the pen graph. So here we are going to use Souls just because we can. It's going to get a free plus because you just send the Selene and the extra Duelist Alliance. You just get some free pluses here. Why not? Uh, if Selene leaves Savage Dragon, Savage Dragon still gets the three negates. It just doesn't gain the attack boost. So there's a little bonus there. And we're going to end off with a pen graph, Scythe, and then if you look at these amount of negates on my opponent's turn, I'm going to Tornado Dragon, pop the Scythe, Scythe will trigger, my opponent's effects will not be active, cannot be activated, and monster effects are done -zo. Uh This can be done with one Needle Fiber, this can be done with one Harmonizing Magician! You can Pendulum one Harmonizing Magician and get, pop your Scythe, you're good. Uh, Savage Dragon will protect the Scythe from Ash, from Imperm, from any of these type of cards. Ghost Mourner if they're playing it. Having an extra negate on top is nice with an Appaloosa and the Pendulum Graph. All these protect the Scythe. If you're now facing off against a Trap deck, Tornado Dragon will pop two, two cards. Tornado Dragon will pop one card on each turn. Pen Graph will pop one card in each turn. Uh, it's just ridiculously good. Uh, Scythe, uh, Savage Negate, Spell Trap deck, Monster deck, doesn't matter. You're going to win regardless. So that's the common tutorial that I'm going to showcase you guys too. Deck, uh, two different duels that I placed in a tournament uh, that I played in the tournament. In the tournament, I ended up going X1. And uh, yeah, still, I performed well, but I ended up losing one of my games against Dragon Link in game three at the end of the uh, tournament. It's all good. It was a great tournament. I'm going to showcase you guys two duels now, two matches of that tournament. Let's go. Now I'm going to showcase you guys match number one of uh, this video. We're showcasing the tournament that I played in, I finished X1 with this Pure Magician deck, and obviously it's not winning, it's sad, but X1's not that bad. We face all meta decks, and this first one's against Tri-Brigade. So, what I want you guys to see is, is something very important with, with uh, how I'm going to play out this hand, okay? So, you're going to see both hands are hidden, I'm going to show you mine at, at the start. So, as you see, this is my hand right now. We have a... This is not a good hand, okay? I'm not going to lie. You need a turbo card, you need an extender. Without an extender, Sork needs to resolve. So at this point, I have to think to my mind. I have to think, okay, Duelist Alliance can search Pen Call. But I lose to one Ash Blossom. If I, if, if I Pen Call, I lose to that. I don't have Wisdom Eye, which is the best starter. I don't have any extender. Wisdom Eye and extenders and chronographs and souls and tuning magician. These are what I need in my hand right now. Because that's how you play through hand traps. Without it, it's a little bit rough. So what I should do here... Not no unbiased to my opponent's hand, even though you kind of just saw some hand traps there. I need to scale a dragon pit. I need to special the Sork and the double iris. That way, if he hand traps the, the Sork, at least I have a rank four play with Pendulum Graph. So that should be my play. What I do instead is I my mouth starts to water. I see double iris and Sork together. My mouth waters. I scale them. Pendulum summon. Now I'm going to show my opponent's hand. He's Ash, Imperm, and Ghost Ball. So instantly I recognize big error here huge error because i could have at least gone into a rank four and a rank four like if i got into dweller here it stops my opponent nerval doesn't resolve kid doesn't resolve it stops my opponent dweller shuts down this whole meta so that's what i should have done because dweller with pendulum graph would shut down the meta instead i go duelist alliance my opponent here thinks that i'm searching pendulum call so he doesn't even go for that he doesn't ash it thinking i'm searching pen call he'll just ash the pen call on my following turn and that's where you get a lot of op opponents P pure magicians wasn't around for a long time and if you play the deck a little differently you're not going to know what to hand trap here i go into artifact dagda to be able to get a free scythe on my opponent's turn and then on my following turn i could pop it very easily and then i i show pen graph he goes a history he goes tanky i let him summon everything he wants he goes rap here and then what i do in this scenario is i instantly pop this card before he gets xyz materials i didn't dagda to, to set a scythe i didn't feel it was necessary even though i probably should have I pop my double iris to search a star pendulum graph. 
So he sets his called by. This is his setup. He has go Ash called by, go spell. Now I need to be able to play through all these three. And I instantly think, okay, my star pangraph needs to resolve no matter what. So the only way my star pangraph resolves, I could special chrono, special time gazer, link Degda and time gazer or something like that. But then if I did that, uh, he'll just he could ash my star pangraph. There's still a chance he has that. So I specifically pop my purple poison specifically. Okay, you gotta learn these plays. I use pangraph. Star pendulum graph has to be chain link one because it's mandatory. So purple poison is chain link two. Purple poison will then pop the tanky. Pengraph pops the call the random set. Purple poison pops the tanky, and now my star pengraph resolves no matter what. Star pengraph will now get me wisdom eye because of the chain block of purple poison. And now I have wisdom eye chronograph. I have everything I need. This duel's over. Chronograph time gazer, and he scoops instantly. So did, was our hand good? No, our hand was not good. Zero extenders. And look at our hand again. Now we draw the extenders with no scales. We oversided. We we I, we didn't oversight. We sided four spells. We sided four cards. And we fucking opened three of them. A little unfortunate, but this is the matches I want to show you. It's one thing to show you guys a combo tutorial where I'm playing without hand traps, without bad hands. I, I opened a good hand for this combo tutorial you guys saw earlier. I want you guys to see how it is when I have the bad hands. This is how you really learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I played out of the bad hand game one. How are we going to play around this bad hand game two? We have all the outs for his back rows. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. But we don't have any way to actually play this game of Yu-Gi-Oh. So we'll see how this ends up. Here I'm thinking that Lightning Storm might be better than Cosmics, but I'm scared of Imperial Lord and Anti-Spell. Lightning Storm, this is not, there's no RNG in this deck like there is in Endymion. In this deck, what you have is what you have. Desires is the only draw card. You know all your plays, so Lightning Storm is very good in this version. Uh, anyway, so here he has a solid hand of Solemn, Judgment, Twin Twister, Tri-Brigade Revolt, Ash Blossom, Appaloosa, you desire. It's like, this is like the best go-first hand that Tri-Brigade can do. It doesn't get much better than this hand. This is the best hand Tri Brigades can possibly do. So let we bricked hard as well. Let's proceed to win. All right, Duster, Solemn, Reboot, get out of here. Okay, now we got to deal with Appaloosa and Ash. Only problem is we have a Cosmic Cyclone that's dead. We don't even have scales. This is just fucking looking really bad for us. Chronograph, I bring out Time Gazer. My goal here, I want to resolve Needle Fiber. This is my goal. If Needle Viper can resolve, or uh, he'll negate with Appaloosa, I attack with Needle Fiber, my Needle Fiber will survive, and then maybe our, our Needle Fiber survives, you can maybe draw a card with TG Wonder Magician, Cosmic, you'll never know where this duel can go here. So I go double Iris, trying to get a free pen graph search. I'm also very happy to just setting pen graph and passing. If he were to let that go, I thought he could negate it, he negates it, I'm like, that's a good play, you can negate it, I normal summon Tuning Magician, Go to Needle Fiber, instantly Appaloosa needs to negate that, and I just attack, and now my Needle Fiber resolves, and I Cosmic. If he draws a Tri Brigade monster, it's unfortunate, but what if he draws a Tanky? And it's not even over yet, my Needle Fiber will be able to draw, I have a few plays here, I know this is no way a Tri Brigade, it's probably any random hand trap, and then what I do with this scenario, I set a Cosmic, he goes Tanky, and I Cosmic the fuck out of that i'm like ha, ha, ha. that was golden that was beautiful this cosmic that seemed so dead at the beginning actually worked out so amazing now all i need to draw is any spellcaster i even tell him and i tell him in the chat i tell the chat that I'm, I'm playing in i'm playing this on twitch right now i just need to draw any spellcaster normal summon selene access code attack for game i drew it selene access code attack for game so even though we bricked very hard both games we won now I'm going to showcase another match. Uh, this is the second round of the tournament. This is the second round of the tournament. And the Yu-Gi-Oh! Gods helped me out here. I bricked both games in the last one. So for this one, my opponent bricked. <laughs> he's playing He's playing Drytron. And this is what happened with Drytron. If you're playing the Red Eyes Fusion engine, you're going to fucking brick. He still has Eva and Herald. Now I'm going to tell you what Eva and Herald is very good for the scenario. Eva and Herald, you just negate a monster effect. And then Eva Effect will banish Herald. You'll get another Herald. And then Herald and Iditon. You have two monster negates here. Two Gammas. These are big negates. These are like real negates here. And he just draws a Diviner. And he can play whatever he wants next turn. So, how, how do I play around this? Let's see. So, I Pen Call right away. I sent Tuning Magician. Pen Call Tuning Magician is so beautiful to see. Because it's just a free Pen Call that resolves. If he ashes my Pen Call, I don't care. Because I have the scales. And my Tuning Magician will resolve. So now my goal is to bring up Appaloosa as soon as fucking humanly possible. So I go to Chronograph Time Gazer. I scale. I normal summon the Harmonizing. 
I don't do not summon the Tuning Magician. As you see, I have Wisdom Eye. Scaling Wisdom Eye under Pen Call is fine under with Oath Dragon if you have all low, low monsters. Harmo, Purple Poison, stuff like that. I normal the Harmonizing so my Oath can add it back. I want to save this Tuning Magician for last uh, just in case. It, it could come uh, clutch with Negates. I don't know what he's playing at this point, but just in case. So I go Needle Fiber, I go Tuning, I go Selene. I go add back with Oath Dragon first. If he neg Let's say he negates that right now. So I go Selene. At this point, he has an opportunity to negate. He could negate with the Selene right now, this second. And then what's he do? Maybe, maybe he adds a Diviner. Because maybe he'll need to add a Diviner because he has no play here. Okay, well, if he neg if he negates my Selene and adds a Diviner for because so he can actually have a play in his turn. Okay, no problem. I have Oath, Time Gazer, Purple Poison, and a Graveyard Effect. That's five monsters in the field. Five monsters in the field and Pendulum, you're not going to have a good day. I'm OTKing your ass into Oblivion. If I have five monsters on the field, you're getting OTK'd 100,000%. That alone is a Selene, access code, all of that. So at this point, he's hoping that I, I I misplay a little bit. What do I do? I'm scared a little bit. I'm like, wow, he bricked. He had no hand traps. What's he playing? So in this scenario, what do I do? Without even second guessing it, I go straight into Appalooza. Maybe I, I don't negate. Maybe I can't maybe I can't OTK him. Well of course I can OTK him. I'm playing pendulums, but instantly this is safe. I'm now safe. What do I do next? I pendulum summon everything on my hand. I pendulum summon all this. So at this point I need to hit 8,800 damage in case I lose is forced to negate something. What's the best way to do that? I don't know. Maybe Savage Dragon. So I go Savage Dragon over here to get a huge amount of attack points. I go Time Star, and this alone is enough for game. 8,800 right here. I attack, it's a little more than that. Attack GG. I had souls just in case, Pangraph, GG's. Now we're going to go into game 2 here. And my hand again, I love this hand. Extenders, extenders, extenders. Draw extenders in this deck and you win the fucking duel. Extenders and tuners. Because extender and tuners does the needle fiber play. The needle fiber play is free. If they hand trap the needle fiber play, you don't care. If they hand trap the needle fiber play, it's just to bait the hand traps. It, that's the whole point of it. And then your actual pen summon resolves. That's the beauty of it. We don't even have needle fiber. We don't have harmonize. We don't even need harmonizing. So, if you look at his hand, the Yu-Gi-Oh gods fucking helped me out again. He fucking bricked. Good for him. And I cited eight cards to... Uh, anyways, I have eight cards to stop Drytron. So, he bricked again. I'm like, fuck. It's fine. It, this is alright. Because round one, I bricked like crazy. This is only the Yu-Gi-Oh gods. This is Zark above. Looking at this, say, oh, Triff, buddy. You bricked game one. I'll give you this one. Let your opponent brick. Again, I don't know what he has. He has a Droll and Lockbird. Look at my hand. Does Droll and Lockbird affect my hand this is why this might be the most superior way to play pendulums okay if he had if he has drill and lockbird that's fine even if he had imperial order that's fucking fine if he had anything that's fine even anti-spell is fine anti-spell i destroy anti-spell seriously you don't believe me this destroys anti-spell normal summon double iris magician enter battle phase attack all right great i search pendulum graph special corner graph special soul special tuning magician that's great. Attack into a monster. All right, Nightmare Phoenix. See you later. Have a fucking good one, buddy. Have a nice life. Easy. GG. That's it. And I get Pengraph to pop some stuff. Easy. Good game. All right. As for this one, playing through draw or playing through call by. Uh, no pen deck is playing through draw. I would lose instantly by now. But draw is insane. I go resolve Chrono and Tuning Magician, so I don't have to normal the tuning or waste the Tuning Magician's effect. Here I go into Oath to add a free card just in case he has Twin Twisters. And go Needle Fiber. Now I'm just gonna go have some fun. Needle Fiber, Selene, Appalooza. I'm gonna go straight into. Then I go Axis Code first. I believe at this point I went Axis Code because I was scared of the back row. He uh, draws my Pen Graph, which is unfortunate. I Iris on the Tuning Magician because it's a free card. And this Pen Graph, I was planning to search another card. I was planning to pop my Iris again to get a pe another Pen Graph to get both Pen Graphs. Uh, but it's all right here since he drooled. I didn't expect him to have Nibiru drool and a set. So I wanted to hit this. I thought this might have been something real, like a Solemn or something. So just in case this was a Solemn, I wanted to pop that right away. I was called by, I popped the monster. At this point, all I got to do is put up uh, 3,100 damage. So I try not to put too much stuff on board. I still have a Souls if I want to do some uh, other combo plays. I'm just going for game. I, I just go for game. If he Veilers on main phase one, then I go Souls and I still go for game. And then boom, GG. Pen mass deck. Now I'm going to showcase you guys. The deck profile. This is the deck profile in all of its glory, and honestly, I love it. The idea of the Perform Pal engine with the magicians is like old school Yu Gi Oh! Old school magicians. Back when Joker and Sork, three Wisdom, they're all three and they just came out. 
This is beautiful. This is un so fun to play. And it really brings me back to the glory days, baby. I love it. Here, you also be able to do cool plays with Sork Joker popping the double iris. I do not play Black Fang, but Black Fang is doable to play if you want to. I just feel that you want to cut the deck as thin as possible. And rather than Black Fang, I'd rather play Curtain Razor. It's better than Dark Worm. Dark Worm in this deck is a problem because this deck is reliant on Tuning Magician. It's Tuning Magician is the main combo of this deck. The main part of the deck is Tuning Magician. If you Dark Worm, your low scale is going to be Gate Zero. And Gate Zero has no place in this combo. <laughs> you, get, you get what I mean? Gate Zero, Dark Worm, they don't help this combo. You, you need Time Star. You need stuff like that. Dark Worm could help out, but it's too much bricks and too much cards that doesn't help you. Desires you draw later. Souls you draw later. You don't want to like... You don't want to swim in shark infested waters of bricking with Foolish Burial and Dragon Shrine. Pen Call Dark Worm is always nice, but you don't need it. If I were to add any card here, it would be Curtain Razor. Oaf is mandatory at 3. Oaf Dragon is so mandatory at 3. It's the only low skill you want. Pearl Poison going second is a vanilla. I mean, going first. Pearl Poison going first is literally a, a fucking rescue rabbit card. Uh, vanilla, bro. It's a vanilla. It does nothing. It's a normal pendulum monster going first. It does nothing at all. So why would you want a, a, a vanilla pendulum monster when you get an Oaf Dragon plus 1? Oaf Dragon is better than any card in Tri Brigade. Want to know why? Because every Tri Brigade card that, with the exception of Desires, is a neg, is is a normal. It's not a plus. It's not a neg. If you go into if you go into Nerval, it's not a plus one. It goes in the graveyard. Like you gotta, it's it Nerval's the best card, right? It's barely a plus one, bro. You normal, you waste your normal summon to get it. I know sometimes plus one, but Bear Brum, add one, send one. Fairjit, draw one, send one. You then not actually draw one. It's draw one, send one back. Oaf Dragon's a plus one. You need to play this at three. This is your low scale. Your wisdom goes into Oaf. Oaf is the wisdom. They are your low scales. This is how you win. If you draw some hand of like Oaf harmonizing and like three random magicians that don't matter, that's still the full combo because Oaf adds back and you know almost on what you need. And yeah, it's really cool. Sork pop double iris. So one joker, three sork, three wisdom, three harmo, two double iris, three Oaf. These are the one that you don't really need. One Celestial is still good to have. It's also a performer about to add back. Purple Poison, one is still mandatory. One Dragon Pit is also mandatory. Sometimes you want this to be your high scale going second. You side in one Dragon Pulse because against Prank Kids, Dragon Pulse Magician destroys that deck. You just hit the Battle Butler with this and you pen summon freely. Time Gazer is actually pretty good in this deck, <laughs> surprisingly. You just treat it as a high scale whenever you need it. So hard drawing, it's not dead. You just scale it, Wisdom, oh, boom, you're good. It's just this high scale for you. Uh, three chronographs insane in this deck it's the best extender because it counts as two extenders because once it's an extender you pendulum back the chrono and the time gazer so, 2d magician and souls teddy did you just shit in my room my dog just shit in my room bro oh my god that's that's disgusting teddy i just took you out to the i don't want to want to walk with him man i got this guy this guy he's, he's cute though it's all good i love you bro it's all good all right anyways as i was saying Tuning, Magician, and Souls are also extenders. So you play nine extenders in the deck, but uh, they all good in their own way. Souls can send O for Dragon Pit, and then when you Selene, Selene will special out the O for Dragon Pit to put it back in that Shinect the Pendulum Summon. So it's a big brain way that Souls is actually a Pendulum, like I've been saying for the longest time. Magician Souls is a Pendulum Monster. So, if you guys got that play, Souls send Dragon Pit, right? When you go into the Neo Fire play, just normal summon a tuner. You play a lot of tuners, Duel Sun Lions, Pen Graph, Pen Call, Two Magician Harmonizing, that's like 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 tuners with Desires. So you have a lot. You need to vibrate Selene, Axis Code, and then Selene Special, bring Dragon Pit back to the extra deck. Pen some in the Dragon Pit. Tuning Magician is also a really good extender because it's not just an extender, but it's also a tuner. So it works out great like that, and it's a card to discard a pen call. These are the best extenders. Curtain Razor is the next extender I would play, and if anything, I would remove two, two Performed by Pendulum Sorcerers for two Curtain Razors. Because extenders do so much for this deck, but Sorcerer is so good, so I just keep it. Three Desires, three Pen Call, three Alliance. Doesn't lose to Droll. Uh, you have nine spell cards, okay? If you open two of them, you resolve one, your opponent drolls you. Now you only have one one dead card and five playable cards. Four playable cards. So the deck doesn't care about Droll at all. Uh, three Sphere, it hurts the deck. I would side, side Droll against me, yeah, but it doesn't do much. And Duels Alliance typically searches the Pendulum Graphs. As you saw in my, in my uh, match one... Game one, I didn't do Alliance pen call. I didn't do Alliance star pen grab. I didn't do Alliance anything. I saved my dual Alliance. I searched the pendulum graph. The pendulum graph saved me that whole entire duel. Pendulum graph is insane. 
And what both Pendulum Graphs do with your Spellcaster types, which is basically literally your entire deck, they can't be targeted by spell effects, they can't be targeted by trap effects. Those two alone against spell against Sky Strikers or against trap decks win you the duel. Side deck, you got three sphere, two lava, three dark ruler. These are first Drytron. Side these eight, draw one, win the duel. These four against back row decks, tri brigade, stuff like that. Uh, two secret village for going first, and one dragon pulse against prank kids. And there's other decks uh, that dragon pulse is very good against. Against Winda, you go purple poison turbo. You you have so many ways to purple poison. You have ten ways to purple poison. Eleven actually with star pengraph. Twelve because double iris searches star pengraph, and then star pengraph searches purple poison. So three, four, five, six. Uh, 9, 12, 13 ways into Purple Poison with Desires. Uh, and Purple Poison, you scale Purple Poison and you summon any single Dark Spellcaster, literally even Time Gazer, and it just attacks over the window with Purple Poison boosting by 1200. Uh, so it's really good. Extra deck, you got one deck that one new card! Grand Silver Card Musa Seiya! I'll be making a video on this deck in a few days. It's uh, really cool, actually. It uh, comes up sometimes. It's nice to have. Should be in your action deck. Double Needle Fiber, Double Selene, One Appaloosa, One Excode. The reason why you play Double Needle Fiber is One Needle Fiber, One Selene, One Appaloosa. This is for going first. So this combo, One Needle Fiber, One Selene, One Appaloosa, that's for going first. But now for going second, you want to save another, another Needle Fiber for going second, where you go Needle Fiber, Selene, Access Code. So it's very important. One Dweller, One Tornado, One Time Star, only rank four as you need. One Zeus, very nice to have. One TG Wonder Magician. If you don't have access to rank four with uh, Tornado Dragon, because Tornado Dragon idea is to pop the scythe, you have the Needle Fiber to special out the Wonder Magician. Now, once uh, Baronis the Floor comes out, this card is becomes insane, and having Baronis the Floor as another Synchro 10 Negate will be great. In that scenario, I might remove Dragster or, or Musaseya for it, and that will be fantastic to add on. And then Dragster and Savage Dragon both come up because harmonizing it brings out Dragon Pit or Oak Dragon, and then the Tuning Magician that you bring up from Needle Fiber stays in the graveyard. It doesn't use its effect. Then you bring it out with its own effect, not summoned by Needle Fiber, not summoned by Selene, summoned by its own effect, to make the Dragster or Savage Dragon that then protect your, uh, protect, uh, with, in combination with your Appaloosa, protect yourself. That's the video! Hope you guys enjoy the video of Pure Magician. You guys got this far, you need to smash the subscribe button. You also guys need to smash the like button. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!